Okay, we are live. Morning, morning stretch, morning breathing. And um, going to be on the floor today. Going to be on the floor. And we're just going to take a nice seat. Going to bring our feet close together today. Bring our feet close together. Let me sit a bit more. Bring our feet close together. So you want the soles of your feet together. And from here, you are gripping your ankles. And what we're going to do is just consciously bring these knees down. So consciously bring them down, open them up. And when they reach their end, just settle them. Just settle them, keeping your feet together. And then from here, we're just going to scan the body a little bit. So we've got the grip, got the grip on the ankles. That's the energy flowing. And we want to travel up the arms, travel up the arms all the way up to the shoulders. When you get to the shoulders, you will just want to just bring them down, settle them, loosen them, drop them, relax them. Don't want nothing in them shoulders, just let them hang, let them hang. And then a little bit lower than that, you've got the clavicle. So you've got your chest, your breastplate which connects to your shoulders just try to scan that from one shoulder to the other and then drop that area there drop that area there and then you feel your pecs kind of drop and then you're moving down a little bit lower and you're going to get to the middle the center that's where the diaphragm is that's where the magic works with the oxygen so what you're going to do is you're gonna take one hand off your ankle and you're gonna put it on your sternum. Kind of just below your heart on the left, slightly. And then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna concentrate on your breathing. And you're gonna make sure that the bottom part of your palm is the one that's getting pushed out. So every time you breathe in, you wanna make sure that it's coming from the belly. So that diaphragm there is doing its job because you're concentrating on it. So when you're breathing in, you want that belly to rise. As the belly rises, so does the bottom part of your palm. You want to concentrate on that. You want your chest to almost be still. Almost be still. And you want to practice that. Just breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth and just practice that. We're going to do that for the next 10. As we do that, I just want you to be conscious that that is what is happening. You are breathing from the center. Three, two, one. And then what I would like you to do is extend your legs out, extend your legs out and put both your hands one on, top of the, one on top of each other, where they were. And then from there, I want you to take an almighty deep breath in. Almighty deep breath, fill it all up. Remember, center, center, center. We take a deep breath in. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. We're gonna hold that breath. We're gonna hold that breath. We're gonna feel the rise, feel the rise, feel the heart. Feel the rise, feel the heart. Feel what's going on in your body. Remain upright, remain upright. Have some stability in the upper body. Scan your legs, feel the hamstrings, starting to get that energy. And then when your mind agrees with your body, let the air go, let the air go, let the air go. And from there, you're gonna bring your knees up, bring your knees up, and you're gonna hug your legs. Hug your legs, and we're gonna take that deep breath in again, the same breath that we just took. We're gonna take it again. We're gonna fill up that belly, fill up them lungs, all the way up, all the way up. And then from there, we're gonna hold it. Hold it, and you're gonna feel your outer lats, so the back area it's going to be widened it's going to be stretched 
feel it. Drop your shoulders, relax it. Drop your head, relax it. Just feel those lats open up. And then when you're ready, let the air go. Let the air go and sink into that body. Sink into that posture. Gonna hold that for a little bit longer. And then from there, what we're gonna do, something we haven't done before, we're gonna cross our legs, we're gonna cross our legs, and from here, we're gonna have our hands out. So the palms, palms are facing each other. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a deep breath in. As we take the deep breath in, our arms are gonna expand like that as we take the deep breath in. Remember, it's gonna be from the belly. And then when we let it go, when we let the breath go, we're gonna go into a self hug. When we let the breath go. And then we're gonna come out again with the breath. So we're gonna start with our hands out in front of us. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in through the nose. We're gonna go five seconds. So we take a deep breath in and then we expand the hands. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we blow the air out. And as we blow the air out, we give ourselves a self hug. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we go in again. Take a deep breath in, five. And then we let the air out. As we let the air out, we're going into that self-hug. You can cross your arms, you can go the other way. And then again, we take a deep breath in. And then we let the air out. Five, four, three, two, one. Give yourself a self-hug and then come out again. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we let the air out and we come in, we give ourselves another self hug. And then one more time we go out, breathe in. And then we breathe out. Self hug, self hug, self hug. And we stay there, we stay there, we stay there. And then from there, we're just gonna let the hands go down on top of our knee our knees that are crossed, we're gonna push our knees down, push our knees down, drop the shoulder blades, drop the shoulder blades, lift the head up, lift the head up, lift the head up, drop the shoulder blades, push down on your knees, and after five, four, three, two, one, just relax, relax the whole body, relax the whole body, and then, Stretch out one leg and bring the other foot into the other leg. So you've got one foot that's on the inside of the thigh. You're now going to put your hand on that outstretched leg. Both hands on the outstretched leg. We're going to take a deep breath in. And then when we let the air go, we're just going to go right over, leaning more forward. We're not going to worry too much about hip hinging. It's all about just folding over that leg. So the first thing that we've got to do is take that deep breath in. So we take the deep breath, expand the belly, and then we let the air go. As we let the air go, we just go all the way, all the way. And what you could be feeling here is that leg that is flush to the straight leg, that's feeling the hips opened up, the glutes opening up, piriformis open up, and you've got the straight leg, which again should be a hamstring to the glute tie-in, should be a calf stretch, and obviously the energy on where you're gripping your leg. Feeling that, feeling that energy, feeling the flow, feeling that flow. We're gonna take a deep breath in for five seconds. Nice, deep, five second breath. We go in, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold that, we're gonna hold that, and then we're gonna let the air out. We're gonna let the air out for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna pull ourselves a little bit more in, a little bit more in, just testing our boundaries, seeing where we're at, seeing what we can do, allowing the body to fully merge with our mind. And then 
We're just going to slowly come up, slowly come up, and then we're going to change the leg formation. So your bent leg now is the straight leg, and your straight leg is now the bent leg. And the same thing is going to be applied here. So your body is upright, your shoulders are relaxed, you're going to reach out on that straight leg, and we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to go right in now, take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. We're going to hold that breath and after three, two, one, we're going to let it out. As we let it out, just go all over that leg, all over, all over. So feel on the bent leg that glute, piriformis, lower back, hip flexor, quadricep, the knee joint where it goes into the calf. And then the straight leg, you've got that hamstring, glute, you've got the calf, you've got the energy coming from your hand. Awesome work. We're going to take a deep breath in for five seconds. And we go five, four, three, two, one. And then we let it out for five, four, three, two, one and we move a bit more closer in, move a bit more closer in. Good work. Okay, so from here we're going to change complete direction. So we're going to sit with our legs outstretched, but we're going to go onto our sides now. Go onto our side. As we go onto our side, we're going to have the arm outstretched like so. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring our knee right up. We're going to bring our knee right up so we can grab the ankle. And we're going to pull the knee right up. Pull the knee right up. And we're holding it with one hand. And the other hand that is outstretched, you're going to put it on top of the knee. So where your knee bends, that's where you're going to put the hand that was outstretched. And you're going to pull your leg further up. Pull your leg further up. And you're going to hold that stretch. For five, four, three, two, one, and then you're gonna cradle your leg and you're gonna outstretch it and you're still gonna hold it. So what I'm doing, I've got my arm that's on the floor and it's anchoring. So I've got my elbow on the floor and that's keeping that stability and I'm just propping up my leg right now. So my other hand ain't doing nothing. I've just got my leg being propped up by my other hand that's been anchored. And from there, my other hand is gonna go right to the end of my foot, so where the ankle is, and it's gonna pull the foot forward so that my hamstring gets a nice deeper stretch. And I'm still just anchoring my leg up with the arm. With the arm that's now pivoted, structured, scaffolded on the floor stretching that leg if you can go back then go back meaning if you can pull your leg higher to get a deeper stretch then please do and then what we're going to do then is just allow the leg to settle allow the leg to settle back onto the other leg and then that arm that was doing all that loaded work we're going to pull it back and give it a good stretch going to pull it back, we're going to get a rear delt stretch, a rotator cuff stretch, and same arm, we're going to roll, same side, same side, so the same arm goes right down to the floor, keep it up, keep it up, and then what we're going to do is roll on that arm, roll on that arm, if you want to straighten out the arm, you can do so, straighten out the arm, carry on rolling on that arm, get a nice deeper rear delt stretch nice deeper rear delt stretch you might feel a bit of a pinch on the chest where it meets your shoulder what we're going to try and do is transfer that energy allow it to settle get past the pain and then it will just soften it will realize that it needs to be in the position it will then soften and then it will allow the concentration to focus all on that rear shoulder all on that rear shoulder. Nothing else in your body should be tense. 
So if your legs are tense, if your opposing arm is tense, consciously relax it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And then what you're going to do from there is just carry on rolling so that you can get to the other side. So I'm going to now switch my places. You can roll over and get to the other side. Or you can switch places. And we're going to be in the exact same position as we was, but now in the opposite side. So we've got the arm outstretched. We're on our side. We've got both legs together, one on top of the other. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring the knee up so that it goes towards our chest. We're going to grab the ankle and we're going to pull the leg a little bit more further up, a little bit more further up. And we're going to hold it in that position at the moment. You might feel a bit of a lower back pull, stretch. You're going to just try and keep it in this position. Don't judge anything what's going on. Just allow what's going on. And then you're going to hold the top of the knee and bring the knee up. Bring that knee up even further. So with both hands, you're pulling consciously, teamwork pulling that leg up. Opening up those hips, opening up the glute, lower back. And from there, once again, the arm that's on the floor is going to act as the anchor. And you're going to then straighten your leg out and your hand's going to be on the side of your knee, just allowing your leg to straighten, allowing your leg to be held up elevated while the minimum amount of effort it looks like for the arm to hold that leg up because you're structured you're scaffolded and then from there your opposing hand is going to reach out towards the ankle and then it's going to pull your leg more further up pull your leg more further up pull your leg more further up feeling that stretch feeling that stretch And then from there, it's going to gently come down, gently come down to where it was, back on top of the other leg. The arm gets outstretched, and you're going to put your hand in the back of that arm, and you're going to pull it over your body, pull it over your body, stretching the rear shoulder, stretching the rotator cuff, lats, and then you're gently going to put some pressure on it with your body by rolling on that arm rolling on the arm as you roll on the arm the arm is going to extend out as the arm extends out you're going to carry on rolling on it carry on rolling on it your opposing arm is going to outstretch itself above the head so we're going into what looks like a crossed prayer but it's not really a crossed prayer it's just now concentrating on a deeper rear shoulder lat stretch for that rotator the one that's done all the work in holding that leg up and then after five four three two one we're going to come out of that pose we're going to come out of that pose and we're going to go into all fours we're going to go into all fours so from here we just want your wrists to be underneath your armpits you want your knees to be aligned with your hips and your lower back just nice and soft nice and soft we want to feel the belly rise feel the belly fall so we want to get a nice conscious connection with our belly we're going to go in for some box breathing we're going to go three seconds in we're going to hold for four and then we're going to extend the seconds as we breathe out every time we go into a different box and then we're going to hold for four so we're going to go in for three then hold for four the first breath out through the mouth will be for five and then we're going to hold for four and then we repeat and the breath out will be then six we go all the way to eight so we're going to go in for three 
two, one. And we hold for four, three, two, one. And we breathe out for five, four, three, two, one. And then we hold for four, three, two, one. We go in for three, hold for four. Breathe out for six. Hold for four. Breathe in for three. Hold for four. Breathe out for seven. Hold for four. Breathe in for three. Hold for four. Now we're breathing out for eight. Big eight. Hold for four. Breathe as normal through the nose, out the mouth. And then from here, we're gonna get on the knees, come right up on the knees. We're gonna outstretch the arms like so. And then we're gonna grab the elbow and we're gonna pull the elbow down and we're gonna stretch the tricep. And we're then gonna to tilt to one side of the body, tilt to one side of the body. And we're gonna hold that stretch for five, four, Three, two, one. We're going to come to the center. Our arms are going to come up. They're going to roll so the blood starts to flow. Then they're going to come up again. And you're going to grab the other elbow and pull the other elbow down. Good work. And then we're going to tilt. So you want your hips to stay aligned and you want your upper body to be tilted. Awesome. Great work. And we go five. Four, three, two, one, and the arms, they go down, and they're gonna to come to the front, and your leg is gonna extend. Your leg's gonna extend. So as your leg's gonna extend, you're gonna pivot forward like that, and then you're gonna come back. So we're gonna mobilize, we're gonna mobilize. As we mobilize, we're gonna take that deep breath in as we go back. So let's start with our shoulders right over our fingers. And then what we do, we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. As we go back, we hold it, and then we go forward, okay? So, we'll go into some box breathing this way. So we'll go four seconds back, four second hold, and then four second blow the air out, and then four second hold. So we go, breathe in for four, three, two, one. As you move back, we hold for four, three, two, one. One, then we breathe the air out and we go forward, we mobilize. Four, three, two, one, and then we hold. Four, three, two, one, and then we go back in again. Four, three, two, one, we hold. Four, three, two, one, and then we blow the air out. Four, three, two, one, and then we hold. Four, three, two, one, we go in again. Four, hold. Blow the air out, mobilize forward. Hold. Final time, we go in four. Hold. Bring the air out, mobilize forward. Hold. And then come to the center, and then we're gonna change legs, change legs. So we're out stretching the adductor. So at the same time as breath work, we're getting adductor mobilization stretch. The same thing applies. We're gonna start right over our fingers, right over our fingers. Make sure that the foot is on its side, planted on that floor, and we're gonna take a deep breath in. As we go four, we're gonna sit, four. Then we let the air out and we go right over four. 
hold four then we go in again four hold four breathe all the air out and mobilize yourself forward for four hold four Then we go in again, four, all the way back, all the way back, stretching it, holding. Then we go forward, let the air out, four. Hold for four. We'll go in one last time, we'll go five. Go five in, five in, five in. And we go five hold. We breathe the air out for five, all the way out. And we five hold. And then breathing as normal, bring the knee back in, bring the knee back in. And gonna pull one knee out and the foot is gonna be flush to one side of your body. Then we're gonna unkink the other knee and elevate ourselves up so both feet now on either side of our hands deep breath in through the nose as we bring ourselves high up deep breath in through the nose deep breath in through the nose deep breath in through the nose all the way all the way all the way and then we go into the supine supine opening up the belly feel the belly rise feel the belly stretch feel your body open Open tightness. And thank you. Thank you for being here.